Well, the time is almost here to cut the strings and let's spot down and running around. I've got the uh, leg angles sorted out. I've uh, got the sequence of the leg movement figured out. So you can see that the legs are moving. One leg goes forward as the three move back. Uh, it's a bit hard to see, it's a little jerky, but that's the basic motion. Um, servo 7, which is the back left leg, I think is on the fritz as well, because it doesn't seem to be responding too well. But the basic, <clears throat> basic motion is there. You can see one leg moves forward, three legs move back, and it, uh, they operate in a diagonal fashion. Now, right back at the start, I made a choice of the servos to use. These are the servos I'm using. Now you'll see they come in two flavours. One is high speed and one is high torque. Without too much thought, I basically opted for the high speed. I really didn't pay that much attention to it, but I did say at the time that I may have to reconsider that later. Well, I'll just let you know, as the next video shows, the day of reckoning has come. So Spot is all but walking, but uh, as I say, in the next video you'll see what happens when I actually cut the string and let him down. But I've come a long way, and as I say, my intention all the way along was to discover errors and pitfalls that, uh, that I could make when I was building this to help other people avoid the same errors and pitfalls. And in terms of making mistakes and blunders, I think I've done a pretty good job. So we'll see the, um, the final result of all these blunders <laughs> and progress. I should give myself a bit of a pat on the back. But uh, we'll see the final result of, uh, of where I've come to in the next video shortly. Stay tuned. Thanks. Bye.